neck playing rugby when I was 17 in 2004. I've been paralysed from the neck down and dependent on a ventilator to breathe. Following my injury, I spent nine months in hospital in the National Spinal Injury Centre at Stoke Mandeville. Whilst I was there, I had to kind of reevaluate my goals and how I was going to leave a meaningful life. I had to think of what careers I could still participate in as I had before my accident. And as I say, law was the obvious choice. I studied for my law degree full time, so that was over three years. Um, and that was quite intense in terms of travelling to university every day and then having to work when I came home in the evening. Um, but it was just a case of time management as it would be for an able-bodied person, that's what it was. I, I don't think it would be right to hide behind the disability as a means for not being able to study. The days I work until a 6am start and I get home in the evening about 7. Um, and the travel, I'm finding okay to be honest, I get on the train at Bedford Station and I commute into London and get off at City Thames Link. And in terms of the assistance I receive, First Capital Connect, they provide assistance to help me get on the train and get off in terms of ramps and anything I need on the train then I can just um, contact them. And I'm finding the travel and the long days fine to be honest. It's just a case of making sure I manage my time and don't overdo things. Your health needs to be a priority. And regardless of how long you work or your working days, you need to ensure that you factor enough time into your working day to allow you to take care of the uh, medical side effects of your spinal cord injury. I think when they get to know me, they don't treat me any differently. Obviously, physically, I'm a lot different. But when you meet me, hopefully, I'm still Matt. And I hope that my performance in the office justifies my, my place there. And that my colleagues um, see me as, a, as, as their peer and they don't treat me any differently. I won't lie and say it's going to be easy and it's going to be a breeze and that you're going to be qualified overnight because you're not but if you set your sights on a goal and if you want to embark on a career there's no reason why you can't. There's assistance out there whether it be for studying with the disabled students allowance or whatever type of assistance you need at university there's provision there to help you and when you start work there's government schemes such as access to work which are there to enable you to go to work whether it be um, a scribe as I've got or voice recognition, whatever it may be to allow you to work, there's no reason why you can't, but it, it just takes some, some planning and a lot of determination.